Good morning and welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby if you didn't know, now you know. And as you can probably tell, I just rolled out of bed. But I wanted to start this video because we're gonna do just a productive day in my life and that has to start with making my bed. But this week has been rough. I was gonna say TMI, but this isn't TMI at all. Like I'm a 22 year old girl. Obviously I get my period from time to time. That's just how the bodies work. But my period has been kicking my butt this week. Like it never has done this before. My cramps have been bad and I have just been having like a terrible headache and so out of it. Like I tried to do just like little work stuff yesterday and I physically couldn't. Like I was so out of it, could not focus on anything. Like just did not feel good, just wanted to sleep all day. I've never felt that before. And it was so bad, so. Went to bed early last night. I feel like a brand new human being this morning. So we're gonna get everything on track. It's Friday, so I'm gonna try to get all my work done for the weekend today. And I'm just gonna take you guys along with me. Hello, Mr. Cloud. So it starts with making my bed because that makes the biggest difference in the morning if you wanna have a productive day. 20 out of 10 recommend making your bed. So here we go. And boom, the bed is made. Now I'm just gonna clean up the room a little bit. I have some clothes sitting around. Look at his little face. <laughs> I'm just gonna clean those up a little bit. And then you know what time comes after that. W-A-L-K. All right, just changed, just threw on this tank from Girlfriend Collective and these tie-dye shorts are from Kill It Eyes. And it looks like it's about to rain. So we're gonna go outside before that happens. Do you wanna go for a walk? You need, you need to put your harness on. He gets so excited, but then like doesn't want to put his harness on even though he knows that me and Sam we can go. You gotta put it on, buddy. Come here. Okay. Where's your other leg? Okay, can you melt? Thank you, you're so sweet. Oh, that's like half a melt. You look kind of crazy. So, um, so we just walked out of the house and it's raining. So that didn't last long. We made it back, I put sweatpants on, but we got a decent enough walk in before it started raining. But now we're gonna make some breakfast. I think I'm just gonna make, I want a cup of coffee. Then I think I'm just gonna make like scrambled eggs on toast and I'll probably give him some scrambled eggs too. And then we're gonna sit down, plan out our day and be productive from there. But I am hungry, so. All right, just finished eating, still chugging along on my coffee, but now it's time to kind of plan out my day of what I'll, I have to get done. And I just feel like it's a lot more, it's literally gonna say a lot more easier. It's a lot easier to be productive when you actually write your to-do list down. I know this is stuff you hear all the time. And I was always the person like in school, I never had to write anything down. I didn't use a planner, like I just remembered everything. But when it comes to actually being productive and like, seeing exactly what you need to get done for the day. I feel like it's just a lot easier to see it all at once written down and I use Procreate to do all that. So I'll show you my little to-do list. But to make sure I don't forget anything whenever I first think about it, I use my Alexa and I just like tell her to add something to my to-do list so then I can access it on my phone but then make it prettier on Procreate. So here we go. I just made this like to-do template on Procreate which I'm obsessed with, I think it's so cute. Also watching TK, absolutely love her. But now I'm just gonna go through my to-do list. I put on my Alexa and kind of schedule it out how I want it to go throughout the day, write it down on the template, and then that way I know what I'm doing. And then we'll go from there and we'll start checking things off the checklist. I also really enjoy making like Procreate templates like this. I'm like super into like graphic design and this little like art stuff. And I would love, I don't know if that's like a thing, but kind of like I do presets, like to make Procreate templates for like to-do lists, calendars, um, like a manifestation template and like stuff like that. I don't know, let me know if that would be fun if that's something you want me to do because I really enjoy it. All right, and this is what we got. Here's today's agenda. So I need to start out, I need to plan my October month in general. Then next on the list, I just have to do laundry. Um, then I have to edit some pictures I took for a brand. I need to send those in. I need to go through some emails I have and then I need to pick out clothes, which is honestly like the most fun part of being a social media influencer. I'll take you guys along on that process, but it's crazy that that's considered like my work for the day is to pick out clothes, but excited for that. My assistant over here is sleeping on the job. But it's okay, he's so cute. 
So we're just gonna start making my October calendar. Look how cute it is. I started yesterday and like I said, I could not function. Could not function yesterday. Like it was the weirdest thing ever. So this is how far we got. I had yesterday's Cat 4 practice written and that's it. <laughs> And after, that took literally forever. But I feel so much better having everything written down. I obviously don't have every single thing written down for October because I don't even know what I'm doing next week, let alone the end of October. I can't believe we're already in October. I feel like we're in like March day 400. Like I, I how the heck is it October? Next on the to-do list was laundry. So I'm gonna get up, just get my laundry together, get that going so that way that can go through the cycle of washing and drying while I get other work done. So we're finally gonna get off the couch because I've been sitting here way too long. I'm on the last episode of The Good Place, which why is it kind of making me cry? Not literally, but it's making me sad. Ugh, love that show. Just came out with a new season. I literally binged it so fast. I just put it in the background while I was getting stuff done, but now we're on the last episode. So what age do I grow up and actually sort through my clothes to put them in the wash? By like whites and colors because, yeah, I don't do that. I just throw everything in at once, makes it go faster. I've never had an issue, knock on wood, that nothing has ever died anything else. But I, like, I feel like that just comes with, I don't know, like maybe when I have a family. <laughs> just crossed the first two things off. Obviously laundry's not done, but it's done as in like the order I'm going. Next is to edit pictures, which there really isn't that many. This is gonna be a super easy thing, but it just feels good to write it down, have something easy to check off, and then we'll keep moving forward. How are you doing on this fine day, Cloud? Are you getting a lot of work done too? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, great. That ended up taking so much longer than I expected. I thought it was gonna be a nice, easy, I don't even know what time I started, but it's two o'clock now. But the lighting in the pictures was weird, so there was like a haze over my face, so I had to go through literally like four different apps to get them to how I like, but. I'll give you a little sneak peek of what they look like. These first two were the ones I had the most trouble with, but I'm happy with how they turned out. And then these last two are my favorite. Like this one's my absolute favorite. I feel like that one turned out really good. I also forgot to update you, but I finally bought a pair of Jordans. They were expensive. Um, $350 to be exact, not what I wanted to spend at all. But I've been debating it for like months and I honestly don't really spend money on a lot of things besides food. I spend a lot of money on food. But I was like, you know what? Treat yourself, let's do it. So I did it. So now to justify that, I'm gonna pretty much have my Jordans in mind when I go through Princess Polly and try to find as many outfits as I possibly can to go with those. But I'm so excited to get them. But, okay, so let's start here. I like, I need a pair of jeans that fit with Jordans. I'm gonna insert a picture on Pinterest right here of what I'm talking about. These are kind of close. I just think, I'm not the biggest fan of like the baggy jeans. I need to know where I can find a pair of jeans that fit my butt nice and tight and my waist, but are baggier, like more of a boot cut fit. And I feel like that's trendy right now, but for some reason I'm having the hardest time finding that. Okay, I think we're getting a lot closer with these. I'm obsessed with these. I love the double like waistband thing. I feel like it just adds a little a little spice. And I feel like these are a lot tighter up there and then baggier. And I think that's the exact fit I'd want with the Jordans. I think I think these are it. I think we're gonna add these ones to cart. Online shopping tip, always just pick your size right from the beginning because nothing is worse than finding something you like and then it's not in your size. I actually don't own a single pair of like black denim that I like at all and these are these are fun they're like split half and half super dark and then more of like a gray color but they look like they fit exactly like I want I think we're gonna go with those ones I really dig these see these look like the exact fit I want but I don't want them to be cropped but that I want them to like hug the hips hug up here but then go all the way down and then have the boot cut there why is that so hard to find all right this is what we got so far a pair of biker shorts this just like white graphic crop tank. This bag, which is like the knockoff Prada type of bag, where you can either wear it on the side or just wear it with like the chain as a little side bag. And I'm obsessed with those right now. I feel like it's such a cute accessory. So I'm very excited for that. Just another graphic tee. This, the skirt that I showed you. Why does it keep going out of focus? Those jeans, these fun little butterfly earrings. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these in the cart, but I just thought they were really cute. 
Then we got these white pants, which I absolutely love. I feel like it's that kind of fit and I don't own anything like these. Super cute, super excited for those. This crop tank, another, actually this is a bodysuit. I don't, this screams like Brandy Melville to me, that type of shirt, I really like it. I don't know, it was fun. This sweater, everyone, okay, obviously not everyone, but I see this all over Instagram and I don't have anything like this, so I wanted to get one of those. And then these jeans. So I have a little extra wiggle room that I'm probably gonna play with. I kinda wanna get like a necklace set, maybe, I don't know what else, maybe a pair of sunglasses, maybe a hat, some accessories we'll probably play around with, but it is definitely lunchtime and I'm also going to FaceTime my sister and Sean and we're gonna watch Big Brother because last night I was obviously at the gym so I can't ever watch it live and it was the triple eviction and I somehow have not seen anything on Twitter so I have no idea what happened. So we're gonna take a little work break, recharge, get some food in us and just have some fun doing that. Then we'll get back to finishing up that. But so far we got everything checked off our checklist in order and in pretty good time. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I did not feel like cooking at all, and I was this close to just making Easy Mac, even though I know I wouldn't have been satisfied, but I was like, I don't feel like cooking. I just wanna make something fast, but it took maybe double the time, which is still only like six, seven minutes, and not much more effort, and look at this beautiful lunch. I made a nice little baked potato with some chicken sausage, just like cilantro lime chicken sausage, and like, I'm gonna be way more satisfied eating this, and it looks so good, and I'm actually excited. Hey, hi. Hi. Triple eviction night on Big Brother All Stars. Look at what I have in my Adidas cart, which I am so excited for these. Look how fun these are. They're like pastel colors, they're high top, they're like old school looking. I am obsessed. And then I also just have socks, you can never go wrong with some black socks. This hoodie, which is actually a men's hoodie, but it's like a rose colored, and it just says Adidas on it. Like it, I got it in a medium, so it'll be a little oversized. And then I just need a new pair of slides. So that's all I found so far. I'll keep you updated if I find anything else to add to my cart, but that's what we got. Everything that I'm talking about, all the Princess Polly clothes, all the Adidas ones, I'm gonna have everything linked down below. So if you guys wanna shop with me, you can. Also, if you can hear his chewing, I'm so sorry, but as you can tell, it is very aggressive. Well, I didn't have pasta for lunch, so we're having it for dinner. Are you surprised? You shouldn't be. But honestly, I'm just gonna end the video here because my work day is pretty much over. It's, oh my God, I forgot I have that at 8.45. Holy crap, it's already 8.24. Yikes. Okay, so I'm gonna eat fast, go on that Zoom, and then I think we're gonna have a game night tonight at my apartment, which I love that my apartment has been considered the weekly game night place. That makes me so happy, but work hard, play hard, you know? We're gonna have some fun tonight. But I just wanna take you guys behind the scenes of a very fun work day of being an influencer, but definitely a more behind the scenes that I feel like no one talks about. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big like, comment down below, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, all that, and I'll see you in the next video.